Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today, I want to invite you to join me for a productive day in my life. And every so often, this is something that I love to do, just writing down a master list of everything that I've kind of had on the back burner for a while, and then sitting down and really getting to it. So after writing out my list and kind of prioritizing it, I decided the first thing I wanted to start with was my email inbox. So I spent a few minutes reading and responding to emails so I could clear out my inbox. Okay, well, we are already having a productive start to the day. I just went through and cleared out my entire inbox and responded to all of the emails that needed responses. And now I'm just going through my list. I went through and organized them by priority and what I wanted to accomplish first. So uh, clearing out my inbox is usually the first thing that I like to do. But now I get to move on to all of the other fun life admin activities like scheduling appointments, running errands, doing all the things that I've just had on my to-do list for a while. And today I'm really just setting aside time to knock a whole bunch of them out. So my plan right now is to schedule some of those appointments that I've been meaning to get on my calendar. So I need to go for my annual physical at the doctor's office. And then also I'm going to try to at least schedule my uh, COVID vaccine. I am eligible for one now, but they've been pretty slammed with obviously people wanting to get the vaccine. So we'll see if I can do that. If not, it's fine and I can just do it later. But I want to book those two appointments and then after that, I'm going to set my computer to start backing up and then go run some errands. So that's what I'm up to right now. We're going to get those appointments on the calendar and then continue with our other tasks. <music> Okay, so that was pretty successful. I now have my doctor's appointment scheduled and I'm actually going to be moving locations to one that's closer to our new house. So that's great, got that all taken care of. And I was also able to book my first COVID-19 vaccine dose, which is really exciting. It's booked for June right now, but from what I hear, you can usually get an appointment earlier just because a lot of people have to cancel or reschedule. So we're booked for June, we're good to go there, but I am going to see just by checking throughout the day and over the next few days if we can potentially get an earlier time. But if not, we're booked for June already, so we're good to go there. So now what I'm going to do is set my computer to back up. I always try to back up my computer every so often because computers do crash and it's important to have really just like a record of all of the files that you have. I keep a lot of important documents on my computer, so um, it's something that I do try to do fairly regularly, but it does take a lot of time so we're going to back up my computer and then run a few errands. I have a few items that I need to return at Target, just some like home organization supplies. And then also I need to get just a couple of groceries for the next few days. So let's set my computer to backing up while we run those errands. Okay, errands are all successfully run. I was able to return everything without a problem, which I'm really grateful for because a lot of the things were purchased on multiple different orders and I was wondering if that might cause some problems, especially since some of them I know we're getting close to the return deadline because I've been putting it off. Uh, but all the returns are done, which is great. So we're all set on that. It is lunchtime though, so I want to go make myself some lunch before hitting some of the other tasks that we have for today. And while I was out, I did pick up a few groceries that we needed, things that we were running low on, and a few miscellaneous items too. Like I think Christopher was running long Claritin, so I just restocked that for him. So before eating lunch, I did just take a few minutes to put everything away and reset the space. Okay, so we've got some food in my belly. I had 
a pretty non-traditional lunch I feel like but then I normally do I'm the kind of person who likes snacking throughout the day and so my meals usually just compromise like a variety of different snacks so I had some Mary's gone crackers with almond butter and then also three like sliced kiwis and that was my lunch. I also have some carrot juice that I need to drink, so I'm going to finish it off with that. And that's going to be my lunch for now. I might have a snack later on, but I'm feeling good and ready to keep going with my list. We're about halfway through what I wanted to do so far. And I'm just sitting down and strategizing right now about exactly how I want to do this. My computer is almost finished backing up, but not quite. It takes literally hours to do. So I think I'm going to wait on some of the tasks that I need a computer for until that finishes up. But for the time being, let's focus on organizing. It's like a three tier cart for my office. Let's head over to my office now and start sorting that out. Okay, so this is the cart I was talking about and it is fully emptied right now and I want to use it to host a combination of my photography equipment and art supplies. So right now, all of that just lives in this kind of corner of the closet on the floor. So we've got like our guest mattress here. What I want to do is roll the cart into here and then organize everything in this area, just kind of like in layers so it's stored vertically and it's just easier to get to because right now a lot of it is just kind of like crammed in there and there's no real like system for organization for it. So I think what I'm going to do is just get everything that is in here right now out like on the floor so that I can deal with it. We'll fill up the cart and then just wheel it into place. And honestly, this is a system that I like to follow when I'm organizing absolutely anything. It's so much easier to organize when you have everything laid out nicely in front of you so that you can see what you have and then from there make decisions about where everything should go. Okay, our cart is now organized and I'm really happy with how it came out. Let me show you what we've got. So on the top level right here, I just dedicated it exclusively to camera equipment and hard drives. On this second shelf, this is where I put all of my watercoloring supplies. So I have my paint brushes, my paper, and then also my watercolors are in this one. And then down on this bottom level right here, this is where I have some miscellaneous supplies. So I have two of my embroidery hoops, and then all of my embroidery supplies in this bag. I have some macrame cord for a project that I'm wanting to do sometime in the near future. And then back here, I have some extra camera supplies. So this is all of the attachments for my GoPro. And then in here, this is some like things that I need electronics wise for travel. So this is kind of the after and what the completed organized space looks like. And I really do think it is just a massive improvement over what I have before. And I do really love whenever possible trying to store things more vertically so that it isn't just like all scattered about on the floor. Trying to stay hydrated while we get stuff done. Um, I'm looking at my to-do list right now. And at this point, we have a few quick, easy tasks left, and then some that are going to require more deep work, some intense focus, and that are gonna take a few hours each to complete. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm going to knock out the two easy tasks, setting up pictures and ordering the printing supplies. Since I already know exactly what I need to do for each of those, they only should take a few minutes each. And then we can dive into just some of the more time intensive work that we have. Unfortunately, just as we finished organizing the cart in my office, my computer finished backing up, so we're good to go on that. So I'm going to grab some of that carrot juice I was talking about earlier, which maybe sounds weird. I know that's not one of the more common juices, but I love it. Uh, I'm going to grab a bit of that though, and then we will order our supplies. And since I already had the tab open on my computer, I decided to start off with ordering the shipping supplies for an upcoming project that I'm working on. So I figured I'd share this in case any of you are ever looking for eco-friendly shipping supplies. There's this company called Eco and Clothes and you can buy uh, items from them. It's all just like mailing supplies that are made out of recycled or sustainable materials. That's what I'm doing for this project just so that hopefully I can keep everything as sustainable as possible.
And then for the second task, I had to prepare and send off some pictures from a recent photo shoot I did. Okay, so those two tasks were quick and easy to get done. And in more exciting news, I was also able to rebook my vaccine appointment. So before it was in June, and now I'm able to go in on Monday to get my first shot for the COVID vaccine. So that's really exciting. And I'm, I don't know, just looking forward to doing my part to help us get life back to normal. So um, yeah, really excited about that. And now what I want to do is just spend some time doing deep work. So I'm going to start off with planning some upcoming content. And what I like to do when I've got a bigger task like this to get done is just to set a timer, uh, especially for something like this that's pretty open-ended. I could do it literally for hours. Um, but I'm going to set a timer for probably 40, or so minutes and just work for 40 minutes straight on exclusively that see how much we can get done in that time and then I'll take a short break and then assess from that point if I want to keep going with it or if I want to move on to one of the other tasks just depending on the progress that I've made so I'm going to set a timer now and then just give ourselves 40 minutes to really see how much we can get done And something that I'll often do when I'm trying to focus and really engage in deep work is to put on some subtle background music and to put aside my phone so that I can really focus on the task at hand. Okay, so it's a bit over an hour later now. I just really got into a groove with what I was doing and decided to continue with it for a little bit longer. So I literally was able to plan almost two months worth of videos. Now it might not happen that I film them exactly over the next two months, but I have ideas for a whole ton of videos just sketched out now, which is really exciting. I have been sitting here for quite a while, not really getting up and moving. So I think right now, before we finish off with my taxes, which is the second of those deep work activities that I was talking about, what I want to do is go through my house right now and water, care for, and fertilize my plants. And that'll give us the chance to get up and move around a bit since we've been sitting for so long. And also just to clear my mind a little bit so that I can transition mentally from planning future content to preparing all of the file and paperwork that I need to send off to my accountant so that we can do my taxes. So this is my little plant care kit. I have my trusty gold watering can, a little spray bottle for misting some of my more tropical plants. And then this is the fertilizer that I was talking about. It's just an indoor plant food fertilizer. It's been quite a while since I fertilized any of my plants. So I would um, expect that pretty much all of them are going to hopefully benefit from a little feeding. The instructions on my fertilizer mentioned to do one pump for smaller pots and two pumps for larger ones and then to water the plants too as they were fertilized. So I just went around the house watering and fertilizing my plants and I actually put the fertilizer directly into the water for some of the smallest pots. So as I've been watering my plants, it started pouring right outside. Apparently there's like a tornado warning out and this just came out of nowhere. Like you can literally see blue skies in the distance, but here it's just nasty weather. Honestly, I don't understand North Carolina weather at all. It is so strange, but I'm going to get back to watering my plants. So remember how I said North Carolina weather can be crazy sometime? Well, it was literally pouring buckets of rain like 10 minutes ago, and now we're back to having sun again. I don't understand what's going on, but I am glad it stopped raining because honestly, it was a little scary. It doesn't rain that hard that often here. So glad that's over with. In exciting news though, we have done every single one of the tasks on my 
life admin get stuff done list for today. And the last thing that is left for us is to organize my taxes. So fortunately, I have already actually filed my income taxes for 2020. So that's all done. This is lower priority. However, I do like really trying to keep track of uh, my income each month, exactly how much I'm getting, where I'm getting it from, and then also my expenses too, since I do run a small business. So that's what I want to do now is just to track down basically the digital records of where I got paid, how much I got paid, when I got paid, so that I can enter them into this lovely Excel sheet that my accountant helped me create that basically just tracks my income. So essentially right now I need to find all of the documents and the numbers to plug into that spreadsheet and then I'll hand the Excel sheet off to her and then she's going to figure out exactly how much I need to pay in my estimated taxes. So I'm going to get to that now and I'll catch up with you when I have an update. Okay, so we're making good progress, but it's going to be a while before I finish this. And I think after I wrap this up, I'm just going to want to chill out for the rest of the day. It has been a very full, very busy, and very productive day, which I love. But after days like this, I find it really important just to take some time to relax and to chill. So with that in mind, I'm going to end this video here, but I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me today as I just checked a lot of things off of my to-do list. And I love having days like this every so often just to get all of those things that have been building up on the back burner really just out of the way and accomplished. Scheduling appointments, running errands, and other tasks like that are really easy for us to forget about or to try to put off until later. And so it can be really helpful just to pick a day to really kind of clump some of those tasks together and just get them all out of the way and done so that you don't need to worry about them. Michelle B here on YouTube calls days like these life admin days and I feel like that's the perfect word to describe it. It really is one of those administrative days where you can just get the small stuff done. So like I mentioned, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this productive day in the life. and. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. But now I want to know what is your favorite productivity tip? Be sure to comment that down below. I would love to read your answer. And if you enjoyed today's video and haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. That's everything for today's video though. Thank you all so, so much for watching and for coming along with me. And I'll see you in the next one.